Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm answering now question number 21 from the February March 2022 IGCSE paper 2 from um, Cambridge. This is a Cambridge paper from the 0580 syllabus. So I've got to question number 21 now. And here we have a question about. It's kind of like three-dimensional trigonometry. It says the diagram shows an open rectangular box, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A, B is 18.6 centimeters, and B, C is 9 centimeters, and C, G is 14.5 centimeters. So that's the length, and you can say the width and the height of this cuboid this box. A straight sticks A, G, M rests against A and G and extends outside the box to M. We got to calculate between the angle between the stick and the base of the box. So, how do we understand what that means? The angle between the stick and the base of the box. Well, basically, what it means is the following. What it means is, it's the angle between that stick, and you can say if that stick, for example, was able to just fall straight down. If this, you know, for example, if it was shorter, it was shorter than the end of the box, and it stopped there. Okay, and you were to let it just fall, okay, um, vertically downwards, then where would it fall? It would fall on the way from A to C. And if you could extend it, it would go all the way to C. That would be where that stick falls if you just let go of it. It would fall along the line A to C. That's where the line would fall. Or you could think of it if I was to shine some sort of a light from above. Um, such that the stick is in the way of that plane A, B, C, D, the floor, then it would be the shadow of that line on that plane. So it says the base of the box A, B, C, D. So the, if you shine a, a light perpendicular to that base with the stick right in the way, then the shadow of that line will fall between A and C. So the angle between that stick A, M and the shadow of where it would the way its shadow would fall or where the stick would fall on the base that is the angle that we're looking for so i'm going to call that angle theta that's the angle that we need now what you notice is this triangle a c g is actually a right angle triangle okay you might not look at the way it's drawn now because we're looking at it from a 3d dimension now if you were to be looking at it from this angle here you would see a right angle triangle in front of you because this is the floor of the cuboid this is the side of the cuboid they meet at right angles all right so that's a right angle triangle and we know the we know one of the lengths gc but we don't know the other lengths here all right so let, if we just make a little sketch of that what we've got is this in this um we've got something like that here just replicate that drawing here that's the angle we're trying to find okay so what we have is we have a triangle that looks something like this Okay, this is the right angle, this is A, this is B, and this is G. Okay, sorry, A and C and G, sorry, I want to go back, A and C and G. Okay, A, C we don't know, but G, C is 14.5 centimeters, and we're trying to find this angle theta. Now, to find this angle theta, we need to have some more information. Um, for example, if I knew the length A, C, or A, G, I could find this angle now AC is basically the line going across from here to there okay this is AC and if you were to consider this other triangle which is the base the triangle at the base of the of the rectangle that made by this diagonal in, in the base that would also be a right angle triangle if you because the you know this the faces of rectangles are always um, you know rectangles so that you've you know the face of cubes a cube is a rectangle so the angles at the corners are 90 degrees so if you do look, if you were to look from above you would see the base of this as a right angle so we have another triangle which is a right angle triangle okay which is like what we see when we're looking directly down okay so again this is a but now we're looking at b and c and there's a right angle over here now we know AB is 18.6 centimeters, and I know BC is 9 centimeters. Now I can find what AC is, and that's the same AC as this. So we can say that AC 
is equal to the square root of, it's the hypotenuse, so it's going to be 18.6 squared plus 9 squared. That's what AC is going to give us. So now we say it's the square root of 18.6 squared plus 9 squared, which gives us, um, okay, now what I'm going to do, instead of writing it like this, I can write it like this, I can write it as 20.663 if I want, 20.663 dot dot dot, don't round it to 3SF now, okay, keep it um, in this form, okay, or even better, don't put the square root, put 18.6 squared plus um, 9 squared, was it 9? Plus 9 squared. Okay, and that gives you 426.96. So I can say AC is equal to the square root of 426.96. You can leave it like that. So that's this AC, the square root of 426.96. I haven't rounded it yet because that's not my final answer. I can round it and use that value and that's perfectly fine. Uh, or you can leave it in third form and that's perfectly fine. Either of, either of those two th methods would work fine. Okay, but now I need to find the angle theta, and I can use trigonometry. I know that this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent, so I can say that the angle theta is equal to the inverse tan of the opposite, which is 14.5 over the adjacent, which is the square root of 426.96. Okay, so I can take this last answer here that I got, so I can say inverse tan of 14.5, divided by the square root of the last answer. Okay, and the last answer was this 426.96. And that will give us my answer, which is 35.058. So 35.058 degrees. Now they asked, they didn't tell us how to write our answer. So we should do to one decimal place. So it's 35.1 degrees. 35.1 degrees, that's the answer. To question A. Now for question B. It says um, AM is 30 centimeters. So I'll just use the diagram over here. It tells us that AM is 30, 30 centimeters. So the length from there to there is 30 centimeters. Okay. Show that GM is equal to 4.8 centimeters. Correct to one decimal place. So we got to find the length GM. Okay, we've got to show that the length gm is 4.8. Now, so basically we can say that gm is equal to, if you think about it, it's am minus ag. Okay, so we know am is 30 already. We've got to find what ag is. ag is this length over here. So we can see from this triangle that by Pythagoras, ag is the square root of um, the sum of these two squared. So we can say gm is equal to am, which is 30, minus the square root of, okay, ag. The square root of ag is going to be 14.5 um, squared plus, now, if I square this, I'm going to get 426.96. Right, that's, that's the square of this. So that's going to give us what gm is. So 30, the whole length, minus... AG, which is going to be given by Pythagoras theorem. So we can now just say that's equal to 30. Um, well, we can just put the answer in. We can just put this all in my calculator. That's fine. So we can just, um, let's go back to, this is the answer. That's 426.96. Okay, that's the answer there. Yeah, okay, press equals for that. I'm going to do 30 minus the square root of 14.5 squared plus answer. That's already squared, so there's the answer. And that gives us 4.75, okay. So you have 4.7569, so one second. That's equal to four point, let's see, 7569, 7569, so to one decimal place, this becomes 4.8 centimeters, okay, as required. So we've shown that it, it's 4.8 centimeters, correct, one decimal place. So you have to show that it rounds to that, very important. And, um, you know, here are the steps. Okay, so I just did it kind of in one go.
the length of the whole stick, AM minus AG, and AG is found by using Pythagoras' theorem. And that's the answer, and that completes question number 21 from this paper from February, March. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this section over here. Other questions from um, this topic of 3D, three-dimensional trigonometry can be found in the playlist in this area. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.